G'day guys, welcome to this Friday edition of the show where I report on the latest in gaming news. If you guys enjoyed today's video and you're looking forward to the weekend, make sure you smack the like button as always. Anyway, now let's jump into the first news report of the day and today it's about the Xbox One and the possibility of Oculus Rift. What I mean by that is if the Oculus Rift will be coming to the Xbox One. The reason I bring this up is because, well, you guys have been bringing it up because all this talk about the Oculus Rift and Facebook over the last week and then just before that stuff happened, it was all about the Project Morpheus and the PS4. So with all that, basically I've been getting a bunch of messages asking me if the Xbox One will be getting any VR stuff. And the interesting thing here is that yes, possibly it will be, but it won't be the Oculus Rift. Instead, it's been found out that Microsoft has paid up to $150 million to buy a wearable computing IP from the Osterhout Design Group. Now this could be used with the Xbox One, but it also could be just used generally with computers. It could also be used with a Windows phone. It could be used for so many different things. It's got so many possibilities. The patterns are very interesting to look at and actually to read into. So if you're a real techie person, you want to get into this stuff, I've linked the full report down below. There's just way too much to talk about and it's just really interesting if you're a techie sort of person. Now, personally, I think that this will be a thing that goes across all Microsoft platforms. I doubt it's going to be exactly like an Oculus Rift or a Project Morpheus from Sony, but it could be something that works along with Smart Glass and it's just going to work along all the platforms, as I said. It's going to be pretty Pretty interesting to see how this does evolve, if it does, if Microsoft takes it anywhere. It's also going to be interesting to see what happens with Project Morpheus and now Oculus Rift going with Facebook. But in my honest opinion, I don't see these technologies really taking off. I'd rather wait a couple of decades and get some sort of chip inserted into me. You know, maybe like an eyeball or something that actually records and has all my stuff there. I don't know, just something crazy rather than just a big bloody gadget on your head. It's just weird, maybe it gives you brain cancer because it's all like on your head and stuff. I don't know. but. Yeah, uh, that's it for today's opening news, and now let's get to the sad news. Sad news! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so, today's sad news is about something that happens quite a bit in gaming. You know when you go online and you just can't find a team that's any good and the matchmaking is just terrible? Well, that's been a reoccurring theme in a game known as Titanfall and a lot of people have been complaining. However, today, um, yeah, let's snap out of the sad mood because it's been changed. There's going to be an update to the game where you will no longer get crappy teammates and then verse a bunch of awesome people. Respawn has detailed a series of changes to Titanfall's matchmaking system and is hopefully going to change the way you meet other players. Instead of dropping into a game where you're a bunch of first generations on one team and a bunch of third generations on the other, it's no longer going to be like that. It's actually going to balance those teams, which is awesome news. So yeah, I guess today's sad news isn't really sad news, but it wouldn't have happened without sad news. So sad news is over. Yeah. Huh? Big news. Big news! So, today's big news is a really quick one, but a really big one, because it has to be. It's the big news, it just makes sense. And that big news is that new screenshots have come out for a game that I'm really looking forward to on next-gen consoles. It looks amazing. It's Batman Arkham Knight. Now, the thing about these screenshots is, yes, you see Batman, and that's pretty cool. But the coolest thing about these screenshots is that we finally see the villain, and his name, as you may already know, is the Arkham Knight. So, yeah, we get to see him in these screenshots, and if you want high-res pictures, high-res quality, all that stuff is down below. But personally, I just can't wait to see the the Dark Knight take on the Arkham Knight. It's just going to be pretty damn awesome. And uh, yeah, as I said, all that stuff is down below and hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and hopefully you guys have an awesome weekend. But first, here is Gorilla Man's question. Thanks Gorilla Man. Okay guys, the question is, if you could have any superpower or ability from any game, which game would you have it in real life and why? So put your hands down below in the comment section. You can have the next show. Make sure you smell the